Hello again. Uh, we are going to be doing the midpoint formula today. First thing you need to know is the midpoint formula. So let's write it down. Midpoint is going to be x1 plus x2 divided by 2. That's a 2, not a z. I have crappy handwriting. Then y1 plus y2 divided by 2. That's it. And you're thinking, well, that's a crazy looking formula because it's got parentheses around it and it's got a comma in the middle. What's going on? I'm so confused. I'm so scared. I'm going to call my mom. Don't call your mom just yet because the reason it looks weird is that's telling you a coordinate. It's telling you a point on a graph. Okay, so a good way to check it is plot the endpoints, the points that you're doing this for, do the midpoint. It should be in the middle of those two points. All right, that's where they get the name midpoint. It's the middle point on the line, okay? They're not trying to trick you. Math people aren't very creative. So it's the middle point on the line. So let's try it out. See if we can do it. First thing we need is our points. We'll do points A and B, which A will be 8 and 6, and B will be located at negative 2, 12. All right, let's find the midpoint of these little guys. First thing we do, we label our stuff. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Now all we got to do is plug it in. You got to look at this like it's two separate problems. This is its own problem and this is its own problem. So we do X1 plus X2, where we plug in our X1 is 8 plus X2, which is negative 2, divided by 2. All right, we'll go ahead and finish off the X's, that way you'll have it done. Okay. 8 plus negative 2 is positive 6 divided by 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. All right, we're done. We found where the x is going to be. Now we just got to find where our y is going to be. So we take our y1, which is 6, plus our y2, which is 12, and divide it by 2. 6 plus 12 is 18, and it's still divided by 2. Then 18 divided by 2 is 9. This is the location of the point that will be in the exact middle of a line that goes through A and B. You're a wonderful person. Okie dokie. Now, before we go into some examples, I want to show you something else you'll see a lot of problems of. A lot of times they'll give you one of the end points, which is the point on the end of the line, and then they'll give you the midpoint, and they'll tell you to find the other one. Let's try one of those. All right, let's say we have an endpoint. Uh, B is located at 12, 4. All right, and then we know the midpoint. They almost always say the midpoint is M, which stands for midpoint because they're silly little math people. M is at 6, 0. Okay? Now, there's two ways to do this. I'll show you the first way. We can use the midpoint formula. All right? We would use just the x part, just this little guy right here. Okay? We know that this is going to equal out to be our midpoint. So we can say it equals 6, because we know it's going to equal out to be our midpoint. Then we can plug in the one endpoint we do know, which is 12, plus the midpoint we want to find or the end point we want to find, I'm sorry, for A, that'll be our X, so we'll put it as X divided by 2. Now we just solve it. Multiply 2 on both sides, that'd be 12, 12 plus X, we subtract 12, our X is going to be 0. So we find our X. Now to find our Y, we do the same thing, okay? We take this part of the problem. We know it's going to equal out to be 0. We know our y1 is 4 plus our other y. Say that's y. I know my 4s and y's look the exact same. They're first cousins. All right. Multiply 2 on both sides. 0 times 2 is still 0. And then we subtract 4. So it's going to be negative 4 equals our y. So we found our other endpoint. Just like that. Okay, now, I'll show you another way. Alrighty, good deal. 
Now, I'm going to show you the, I think it's the easier way. You can use whatever way you want. This is another way to find an endpoint when you have one endpoint and the midpoint. Okay? You just draw a line, a straight line. We have endpoint K. So we write it up there. It's at 7, negative 2. 7, negative 2. Now our midpoint is M. So it's in the exact middle. It's going to be M. It's at negative 3, 4. And then we're trying to find J, which is our other endpoint here. Okay, so we would have to draw this line. We know M is in the exact middle. This is what we do. We find out what you do to 7 to make it negative 3. Well, since that's a negative, we know we're going to have to subtract something. We would subtract 10. You subtract 10 from 7 to get negative 3. What would you do to negative 2 to get 4? I don't know. Let's find out. Negative 2 to get 4, you would have to add 6. Well, guess what? If that's the change to go from there to the midpoint, since that's the exact middle, you have to do the same thing to go from the midpoint to the other endpoint. So we'd have to subtract 10 and add 6. Negative 3 minus 10 is going to go deeper in the negative zone to negative 13. 4 plus 6 is 10. We found point J. Negative 13, 10. I think this way is easier. It's much lovelier. We hang out from time to time, but nothing ever develops. So, booyah! Okie dokie. Wow. Alright, now, time for you to try it on your own. So, if you would, please, hopefully you have the midpoint formula right now, if not, rewind it. Find the midpoint of R and S. While R is at 4, 3, and S is at negative 2, negative 10. Find the exact point that would be in the middle of those two. Pop up on your screen, pause it, and good luck. All right, hopefully you worked it out. Let's see what we got. We know our midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. All right, we label x1, y1, x2, y2, and we just plug them in. x1 plus x2 be 4 plus negative 2 divided by 2. And then y1, 3, plus negative 10, divided by 2. 4 plus negative 2 is the same as 2, still divided by 2. And then 3 plus negative 10 is negative 7, still divided by 2. And then our last step, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and negative 7 divided by 2 is negative 3.5. That is our coordinate, that is our midpoint. That is our mystery solved. Da -da 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 -da. You know. All right. Now it's time for you to work it out if uh, you know one of the endpoints and the midpoint. So it's about to pop up on your screen. Solve it whichever way was most comfortable for you, and then we'll work it together. So good deal. All right. You had endpoint B at 18, 6, and you have midpoint M at 12, 2. You need to find endpoint W. All right, so to find that, there's a couple different things you could have done. All right, now, I personally like the line one, so that's what I'm going to do. So let's do that. We draw our line. We got B. We know M is in the middle, and W is down here. All right, we know B is at 18.6, midpoint M is at 12.2, and we got to find W. We look at our X's, 18 to 12. Well, for to go from 18 to 12, you got to subtract 6. To go from 6 to 2, you got to subtract 4. So that's the exact same change from our midpoint to our other one, to our W. So we subtract 6, subtract 4. That'll be 12 minus 6, which is 6. 2 minus 4, which is negative 2. That's what you should have gotten as your final answer. Wah, wah.